Aesop's fables are short little stories that make a powerful point or moral. Well, the Book of Ruth is a very short story that makes a very powerful point, but the Book of Ruth is much more than just a fable. Let's find out why. When the Book of Ruth opens, Ruth is a woman who is in much need. Uh, she's lost her husband. She's made a commitment to her mother-in-law to take care of her. It's just her in a man's world. She has no idea how she's going to take care of both of them. Great need. Well, shortly into the book of Ruth, she's introduced to a man by the name of Boaz. Boaz is a wise and a wealthy man. He's a distant relative to Naomi. He has the means and the ability to take care of them. And in chapter 2 of Ruth, we see how God providentially brings those two together. So the question is, what does this mean for us? Well, the truth is, we're all like Ruth. We're all in need. We're all in great need, a need that's greater than we can tend to ourselves. We need a Boaz. We need someone who can come in and protect and provide for us and take care of us. Well, God introduces us to our Boaz when he introduces us to Jesus. Jesus is the one who can provide and protect and care for us. The question is, how will we respond when we're introduced to our Jesus, our Boaz? Will we still try to do things on our own, or will we submit to the providence of God and realize we need him? This week, there will be many times in which you will have a chance to admit you need Jesus for something. Will you still try to do it on your own, or will you submit to your need for him? Praying that you submit, praying that you see how God has provided you a Boaz in Jesus this week. God bless you. See you next week.